they banned Rosamy's 3D worldwide. We're going to go over what Sony just did to Rosamy Love Locks 3D, the one that was much awaited by the fans, and we're going to take a look at all the information we have. We are talking about Rosamy Love Lock today, and she is, of course, Niji Sanji EN member who everybody had been waiting for her 3D because it had been announced uh, earlier about it's going to actually happen on March 7th. She announced that their 3D debut was going to be on the 22nd, which just passed as of the recording of this episode. And uh, she had her waiting room. She had everything set up. Uh, and of course, now, as of 14 hours ago, she was trending in the U.S. because of her 3D, positive and negative. People were down here. Something, something, monkey's paw, poor Rosamy. It's trending because it got copyright claimed. Ain't no way. And we're getting close to that. That's what we're going to get to. It did get copyright claimed, unfortunately. But we're going right now with these numbers. These numbers here are Petra and Rosamy's 3D debut, the comparisons. The 3D debuts of this, like Super Chats and uh, all the amounts of chats, actual chats that they had. This is the chats are still overly dominated by JP Chat. A bit strange considering she is an EN. The Supas, while dominated by Westerners, the JP ones come very close and also had entire supas is so low that it can be used to determine if it's dominated by Western or JP. Here we have Petra Gurren. Uh, the sum of super chats is about 56, 564,000 yen or $3,727. CCV is 21,928. That is like the peaks. That's like the concurrent viewers. The CCVs is the concurrent viewers, which is like not peaks. It is the, the viewers seeing over long term. Uh, this wouldn't be, like I mentioned, it would not be peak. It'd be uh, your concurrent viewers. So even then, she had almost half of what Petra Gurren had. And when it came to the Super Chat, she had actually half of what Petra Gurren had. The number is still nothing to shake a stick at. It's still a good amount for anybody. But knowing the issues that Niji Sanji currently has with everything that has been going on recently, they are not happy. I can guarantee you they're not happy with the amount that's popping in uh, because after YouTube takes a cut, they take about a third of that. So it becomes 1200 bucks for, for her for the whole thing. And then Niji Sanji takes their cut of that. So if she's lucky, she's going to be seeing maybe $700, $800 of this maybe, if she's lucky, uh, for all the work that was put in by Niji Sanji, by the artists, by everything like that. Niji Sanji isn't happy because they probably had to pay a larger amount than what they got as a return. They also didn't get a huge amount of viewers, which, you know, kind of tells you the value of what's going on, at least it tells a larger company the value of what they have done, the amount that they have gone through. And then you have below there, Finana Ryugu with uh, 2840, I believe for their 3D debuts, this is all comparison of 3D debuts, uh, and 26,000 CV, Alera Pandora, 5,600 of the Super Chats, this was done way before, uh, 49,000 CCV, Pomo Rainpuff when they did their 3D debut, 10K almost, and a CCV of almost 30,000, about 29,000. So those are the numbers that uh, Unidi Sanji was expecting for everything. Uh, even Petra Gurren kind of got closer to those numbers. Uh, those were all, like I said, things that Nidhi Sanji was expecting. They did not expect to get the negativity that it seemed to have shown with Rosami. She got uh, the short end of the stick pretty much because she got it after the Selentatsky situation. I think Petra got helped by that she often streams the JP audience, so the JP audience might have shown up a bit more. But Rosemi takes the biggest hit because less JP audience and Ian audience either on bad time schedule or they're boycotting overall. Two of the most frequently chatted words for Petra were Debbie Sama and Rosemi. It seems like a lot of them were there for the cameos. So I don't know how many cameos that Rosemi had, but it seems like they weren't there specifically for all of that. So I do feel bad for her because it's not ever the Liver's fault that the company does something bad. It's not ever the Liver's fault that uh, the 3D fails per se because they put in their full effort, whether they're from Nidhi Sanji, Hollow Live, or an indie. They put in their full effort. So I will not knock Rosami for this. I'll knock Nidhi Sanji for getting her into a position where she would be boycotted just because of the fact she's associated with them. Next is the big issue that happened. Rosami got copyrighted. She had copyright struck. From this whole issue she ended up having to put out this message it says sorry there seems to be some problems with the automatic song copyrights for the video archive i will try to make it available again soon as of right now it is still not available this was about 14 hours ago 
Nidhi Sanji is working on Japanese time, they can work with Sony. They should have already had the rights to any of the music before it ever came out. The automatic rights should have been dealt with by Sony and them before it came out. And if there was an issue, they should have gone through channels and it should have been done within maybe an hour or two. As Hollow Life has done that before, has had it done between an hour or two. And they're both large corporations. They can get through this. I know there's bureaucracy, but they can get through this if they truly cared and they truly wanted something for Rosamy. They could have gotten through all this trouble. And it says right here, it's been almost 12 hours. She's missing the algorithm wave. Sony is literally a partner with Niji. How the heck don't they have their channels whitelisted? And that's the issue. Most places, if you are allowed to use their music, you have a blanket whitelist for all of their content. You have a blanket whitelist for their songs, or at the very least, for the specific songs. A lot of times you'll have it, a blanket whitelist for their whole uh, collection, but if then, you know, if they want to be, you know, quick and lazy about it, they can do that, or they can do it independent songs because uh, the YouTube copyright system runs on kind of like a machine learning thing where it knows what songs are in there. It looks for the words, the lyrics, the tunes, everything like that, and it will uh, copyright based on that, and it will keep you... Uh, keep the rights holders abreast of everything because of that. It says, because it's Niji Sanji, yeah, and it's too much to ask if they do the basic stuff for their talents. Also, Sony probably being a B as well. Yeah, I've had my dealings with Sony. I've had my dealings with a lot of copyright holders. Uh, they can just be like, nope, this is all that's what's going to happen. We're not going to change anything. It's already done. Too late. They can act like that. But I'm surprised that they would act like this for a large corporation. And of course, it's management. Is really the, the one responsible here management should have fixed this it says it would be good if management helped her if only uh from what we are aware management do nothing for copyright strikes it's all handled by the vtuber i've never seen a corporal parasites so brazen if that is true then rosamy is just it's a losing battle she's not going to get it back if it's true that management only lets the the livers deal with it as i believe the actual uh the actual employment contract mentions that they will not intercede between you and a copyright holder unless it directly affects them or it's directly against Niji Sanji. They will not intercede between any arguments. They will not intercede between anything as the employment contract says, as I remember it correctly. Man, that's just heartbreaking. Uh, Niji might not be obligated to help, but they're truly utterly worthless if they were even close to, chose to help. Exactly. I mean, I can understand that it's her channel but i have understood from my personal perspective from what i've seen hollow life treats it differently hollow life treats it as this is a channel directly associated with us so we're gonna do what we can to help the situation rosamy 3d discussion thread what do you think discuss approaches 3d very differently from petra the she peaked ccv uh 15k as i mentioned before uh and it's blocked by sony which i'm going to show this is what you see when you go towards uh, looking at the 3D debut, if you want to either clip it or you wanted to take a look at it because you're a Rosamy fan, you can't because it's blocked by SME, who has blocked it in pretty much worldwide, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, not just in Japan. Like they could have just decided to block it in Japan. Every time a copyright claim goes through, they can decide which countries to block it from, which regions to block it from. They could have blocked it from Asia, but they decided to just do a blanket one. A lot of these times, these things are automated on Sony's side, so this could just not necessarily be them forcing it that way. But uh, it could be that for this, like, for example, a specific song is going to be blanket banned all across the world. I've had issues with that with Bandai and things like that just for five seconds of a song. In Japan, of course, they don't have fair use. They don't even have the doctrine of fair use or anything close to that. So every single time you have to use their music or anything like that you have to get an agreement with the organization to be whitelisted whether it be a contract where you pay like hollow life has that with capcom and other companies where they have an agreement like a kind of royalty agreement where they're allowed to use their games and they're allowed to use their soundtracks without any issues and it says that's so weird i think anyone who upholds 3d debut streams have never encountered anything like this before did you receive confirmation okay sign for mana sign before uploading this 3d debut stream um, it's basically, uh, bro, disgusting, thank you, based, uh, bro, seems like the automatic copyright claim issue, it is one, so what countries is Rosemary shown in the UK is a no, uh, seems to be global, which we're gonna go into next, it is a global ban, and here he shows, it, someone looked at the URL 
for YouTube to show where it is banned. It has been banned in every single territory, as I had mentioned below, but I wanted to give you some visuals of it. It's banned in Japan, Kenya, North Korea, all these other places. It's just banned everywhere. All of it. There are no allowed countries. I don't know why they went so far to do that. Like I said, a lot of these times it is automated in some way. So it is uh, unfortunate for Rosami. And the next part that I'm going to look at is that the 3D debut VOD is vanished from her channel. You can only, it's unlisted. I don't think it's privated or uh, in any way removed, but it is unlisted. When you unlist it, it means that only people who have the actual uh, YouTube link can take a look at it. And those who don't have the YouTube link can't take a look at it. So with that having been the case, I have taken a look at the actual YouTube link. The actual YouTube link does show the same thing now as it is with uh, with it being blanket banned. And it's not something that has gone away. So pretty much I think Rosemary might have just given up on it because Nidisanji doesn't want to help. And it's sad that that happens. Most probable answer is that she, remember Nidisanji doesn't help with the stuff. It's going to edit the music out. So maybe it will be uploaded re-uploaded muted sadly for the lily rose lil rose hope this is the outcome she can get still get views sadly also probable niji sandy told her to remove it since there was a shareholder that made the claim and they don't want to disturb their masters also bad for rosami of course N uh, niji sanji is owned partly by well not owned partly niji sanji has a large stockholder which is sony they hold stock in a lot of other companies they owe you know they have investments in other companies and one of the investments that they have is Niti Sanji I'm not sure how much percentage it is something like 10 or something percent it's not a lot but it's still a considerable amount that they don't want to get angry they don't want anger against them although I like I said before I think this is more automatic and it isn't something vindictive on Sony's part and here we have a full rundown of what we had seen before with the full amount of super chats uh US dollars has 109,000 yen um which is uh, the yen itself is 94,000. The Taiwanese dollars, you have some of these, all these here. And it's at uh, 284,000 yen from what I'm seeing here. It's all in yen. And you divide that by about 120. And like I said, you have about 1,200 bucks. Correction, $1,800 as we're seeing here. This is what she got from the whole situation. And it is unfortunate that uh, anybody who's an actual Rosini fan won't be able to take a look at it anymore. Because, of course, Sony decided to be the way that they're going to be. And um, it is unfortunate. It really is. I wish it didn't happen to her because, like I said, I don't go against the livers. I go against the organization that is running them because they've been showing that they are bad at management. And as I said before, um, it's showing somewhere around 657, according to this person here. Google says 284,000 yen, which is 1877. YouTube takes 30% of the cut, leaving about 1314. AC, which basically is any color, takes another 50% of that, which leaves her with about $657. It is not a lot for all the work that was put in, but uh, that is one thing that I want you to take a look at and you know make your own decisions on this whole thing. Of course, uh, like I mentioned before, do not take any anger out on any livers, in, no matter what the situation is. Make sure to uh, only direct it towards the management, only direct it to the people that are actually doing harm to others. And finally, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Uh, take a look at the comments below for anything that you want to mention about the situation, any insights you might have in the situation. Also, in the description below are all of my socials. and. Of course, there's a video here that you might be interested in taking a look at. Take care of yourself, be kind to yourself, hydrate, and just have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.